Hey there! In my last video, I did my own version of a well-known gravity demonstration called the water bottle drop. I put my own spin on it for something a little different, to see if the water would spin and still stop flowing out of the bottle when dropped. I thought the water was spinning a little, but we couldn't really be sure. There also seemed to be quite a bit of confusion amongst the flat ones as to what exactly was happening here and why. So in this video, I'm going to do a baseline, which is just dropping the bottle without the spin. And I'll be trying a few other motions and other water filled objects to see what happens. I'm not going to make any real conclusions here today. I'll probably just talk about what's happening. I'm just going to provide as much footage as I can and then we can all decide together what's happening. All right, this is the baseline water bottle drop with no spin which shows us that the water most definitely does not stop flowing out because the bottle has stopped spinning. Some other force has definitely caused the water to stop flowing out of the bottle. I noticed there were a couple of flat earthers that actually thought the water had stopped flowing because the bottle had stopped spinning, so this one was necessary. This one is pulling the bottle up to see what happens. Definitely an interesting effect. It seems that velocity and motion has an effect on the water's behavior. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this one is an upside down bottle drop, just to see what happens. This one was suggested by Robert Lefer, so there is a little hole at the base of the bottle, but I think this one needs further testing just to see what's really going on, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, this is a redo of the water bottle spin. Uh, added a few Lego pieces to try and help us see what the water is doing while it's spinning. And this time I made sure the bottle was spinning at a higher velocity. I reckon the water is spinning a little, but I guess we still can't be completely sure. That's why I made this little one-time use setup some random Lego pieces to help us visualize what's happening in the water. It won't spin as fast as the bottle, of course, but is that water spinning? What do you think? That water does look like it's spinning to me. I love what the water does as it's dropping, as the bucket's dropping. Pretty cool. Okay, this is a special setup suggested by Scott Meyer. This is to see if gravity is causing the water to have a higher pressure at the bottom of the tube, demonstrating a pressure gradient under the force of gravity. Now, I've made some interesting things in my lifetime, but this device was pretty cool. Gigantic fountain. I got some funny looks from people walking past the house, that's for sure. Okay. So, I hope I've provided enough footage of water under different velocities and motions. Now, you get to decide, is gravity or buoyancy the primary force influencing everything you saw here? I'll pin any comments I think best describe what's happening or not happening in this video. I'll rotate the pinned comments if there's a few good ones. I think you all know where I stand on what's happening here with the water. Uh, thanks heaps for watching. See ya.